Over the last couple of years, I have accumulated quite a few deep in devices. I have quite a few outside now in my shed, on poles, around the house. I have some over here in my crypto closet and they're just scattered everywhere. Monitoring them and knowing when they're online and offline has been a bit of an issue. I don't have time to actually go in and check every single device whether they're online or offline. And that just means I'm gonna be losing out on rewards if I haven't checked in a while. One thing that I did find useful is using a tool that I use to monitor my nodes. I'm applying this towards DPIN because it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. We're gonna be pinging an IP address and it's a dashboard and it looks like this. And what it does is it's gonna ping the device every 60 seconds or whatever interval you want. And it'll display it on a dashboard and let you know when something is offline, like my wing bits right now, or if it's online. Uh, so I started inputting all my miners on this dashboard. And when I'm done, I'll have a nice display that I keep over here on the side of my desk, that which will allow me to glance over and just check out the status. Uh, it's very easy to see because if it's red, that means it's offline. Installing this app is pretty simple. It's a download from GitHub. It's called Uptime Kuma. And I'm gonna be installing it on an Orange Pi device. You can install this on literally any device that runs Docker. So that means Windows, Linux, Apple, whatever you want to use. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using a Linux version, but I'll also link some documentation if you want to use it on a different device. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is my Orange Pi device. The operating system is already installed. I just need to connect to it when I'm going to be using PuTTY to SSH into it. Like I had mentioned before, you can run this basically on any computer, even Windows. You just need to make sure that you have Docker installed. So I have my Orange Pi 3 plugged into the network. And I can see it right over here. And I'm getting the IP address of 10.10.10.239. I like to use Solar Putty. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to be creating a new session. I'm going to put in the IP address and give it a name. And I'll go ahead and create that session. And it's going to want me to connect to it. So I'll accept it. And then I'm going to want to put in the username and password. And it's going to run through an update. This might take a couple of minutes. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step. Next up, I'm going to use this command to install curl. So we have curl installed. We're going to get the latest Docker package by entering in this line. Now we're going to run the installation for this device. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. Uh, it's one line that we're going to have right over here to install. All we're going to do now is just run this command and it will have it set up as well as set the default ports to 3001. So go ahead and hit enter. And it's now going to go ahead and install. This might take a couple of minutes. I'll jump over to the next step. The script is now completely installed what we want to do now is we can go over to our browser we're going to be entering in the ip address for this device and we're going to be including the port number which is right over here 3001 in my browser i'm just pasting in the ip address of it then i'm going to enter in 3001 hit enter and it's going to bring me over to the setup screen inside the setup screen we're going to be designating a username a password and then we can create an account so I'll go ahead and do that now we have our uptown kuma installed it's set up and we can go ahead and start adding devices and configuring it. In this example, I'm gonna start adding some devices. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on add new monitor. In the new monitor, we have a bunch of options that we can enter in here. Uh, I'm gonna be using the ping command because my devices are pingable uh, and then we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my wing bits as an example. And now I just have to put in a host name. The host name is gonna be the IP address of this device. This is another part that you're gonna to have to know is you're gonna to have to know the IP address of your devices when you're entering them in here. Uh, then you have the heartbeat intervals by default, it's every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, it's gonna to check to see if it's there. Uh, that's fine enough for me. Uh, you can have retries, I'm gonna leave retries as default. The timing that you put in here is how long it's going to take to, for the system to mark it as down. Um, whatever time you put in here is what's considered down. So you can enter in any number. I'm going to leave it as default right now, which is zero. And the heartbeat retry intervals is going to be 60 seconds. So if it doesn't get anything back, it's going to try again every minute. And if you scroll down over here, you can specify even further what you want to do in terms of packet sizes. You can create a group. Now, I don't have any groups available, but I can add a group. So I'm going to click on one. I'm going to call my group DPIN and I'll click on confirm. And this will all be in one monitoring group for DPIN. Now you can go ahead and add a description, add a tag and save it. What we'll be doing next is repeating these steps for each individual DPIN device that we have. So I've added in all the DPIN devices that I have right now under the DPIN monitoring group. I've also created a couple other monitoring groups down here called 
IoT and one for my ASIC miners. I'm gonna be adding some devices in there a little bit later. Uh, but right now I'm focused on deep in devices, which is these right over here in this monitor group. And what I wanna do is create a status page. The status page is gonna be that page that you're gonna be viewing to check if your devices are up and down. So it's right over here, there's a button that we're gonna click on. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna click on new status page. We just need to give it a name and we wanna give it a slug. This will be part of the URL that we enter in. So I'll just type in deep in over there and then I'll click on next. And it's now created a status page over here. This is gonna be the status page that we can modify and edit. There's a lot of different things that you can do in here. On the left hand side, you can change the title. You can also add in the description that you want and it'll appear on the side. Uh, I like to just keep mine as empty as possible. And then if we scroll down a little bit over here, uh, we have the option to enable and disable tags. You can add in domain names, Google Analytics, uh, custom CSS. There's a lot of configurations that you wanna do. We're just gonna be keeping it simple. Now what we wanna do is add to our monitor. So we have this drop down menu that we can click on over here and we're able to select our devices. So I'm gonna click on my Pico device uh, that pops up automatically over here and I can do that for every single one that I want displayed So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna be selecting them all in here So I've added in all the deep in devices over here on the left hand side You have this little toggle that you can move some of these devices around if you want to change the order of them uh, So you can just drag and drop them wherever you want. You can rearrange this however you want. It's highly customizable so I'm just messing around and keeping everything sort of somewhat together. So I have my Pico devices here together Then I have some of my fries on a koi GeoNet, WingBits. All right, so they're all in here right now. Uh, the theme is something that you may or may not want to choose. Um, you can go into light mode. Uh, you can choose auto, so it'll switch depending on the day, or you can keep it as dark mode. I just prefer dark mode, so that's what I have over here. And then the last thing I can do is just save it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, and then it pops up to my dashboard. So this is gonna be the page that you will see on whatever device you have. All right, so I just opened up another browser over here and you can see that the editing options are gone. So this is a read only page. So it's different than the one over here where we're able to edit it. This URL, we can put on any device on your network and you'll see this page. You can add a logo, you can customize pretty much anything that you want on this display page to your liking and then view it from any device on your network. You can see up here, it says partially degraded service. And that's because my WingBits is offline right now. I've been moving it around. Uh, you'll get notifications like this up at the top, which you can also modify. And it'll let you know when services are down. I think this is incredibly useful. Okay, that's it. So we have it up and running. We're able to monitor our devices. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.